It always comes to this. Hello there guys, back in to do another Tattoo Progress update today. Uh, where I last left off, I'd had the spider webs done um, all along here. Added some over here. And then we did the, uh, the teeth of, on my stomach slash abdomen um, center. Uh, I'll show those off in just a minute here. They, uh, they healed up really, really well. Overall, there was some light scabbing in a few spots. Most of it is already gone, but for viewers of this channel, you'll know I don't really scab much, if ever. So the fact that I scabbed on those teeth was a little bit... It wasn't strange, but it was uh, telling of the, the, the level of scar tissue in those things. <laughs> um, when you get tattooed, you know, two times a week... Um, you can't really do that if you're healing bad all the time. Um, and I've had it said to me that my skin must be rubber everywhere and I must be, you know, scar tissue everywhere. And, uh, the reality is, is if I was scar tissue everywhere, uh, I would not be able to be getting tattooed as often as I am. And, uh, I would be getting knocked back on my healing a lot. So... There'd be weeks where, like, I'd want to tattoo something, but it was still healing, or it didn't heal well last time, or um, something like that. And, uh, like, I would be risking infections and things like this. Um, I had a tattoo artist ask me the other day if uh, I'm sick all the time. And, like, I really haven't been sick in, I don't even know, like, I've got a little bit of a cough a couple months back here but even then like I can't remember the last time that I was sick there, there's this weird idea out there and I don't think it's backed by any real evidence like nothing nothing that's been proven like there's a lot of crazy theories there's a lot of reasonable theories there's a lot of um, like completely out to lunch theories uh, about what being tattooed does to your immune system but if anything it hasn't done, I wouldn't say it's done anything tangible to mine, but if anything, it's strengthened it. It hasn't reduced it. Um, I think because my body is just so used to fighting off or repairing whatever the fuck, I'm just, it seems like I bounce back real quick. Even if I do get any kind of a cold, it's like I'm back the next day. Like, I don't, I don't know. There was, I think, 10 years, 10 years I hadn't called in sick at my old job. And the first time I did was uh, the infection I had in my right hand. Um, so, and then that knocked me off work for a couple of weeks, but that was a really bad infection. Uh, with that said, when I called in sick that day, j just giving you guys a frame of reference for how my life has been getting tattooed, because even back then I was getting tattooed two, three times a week, maybe even more some weeks. Uh, a frame of reference for how my, my daily life goes in terms of health, um, it had been 10 years since I called in and my coworker who covered me, who I've worked with for a long time, said to his wife, uh, I'm going to go to work. You call an ambulance. He might be dying because it was so, it was so like absurd. The idea of me being out sick, even now, uh, like I'm at the shop here seven days a week. I'm I'm at work every day of my life to some extent, whether I'm uh, whether I'm creating content or I'm coming to the the shop to check in on things or um, something will happen. I have to react to it here, uh, shop wise. Not not Remy reacts. Um, I am the shop manager here, so I've got a lot of you know ongoing kind of concerns even when I'm at home. So. Um, it's not to say that I never compartmentalize from it, but I'm never really off the ball. And then being a father and a dedicated husband and, you know, there really isn't a whole ton of free time. And then 
you know, I make these things in my free time. So even my free time ends up being work related. You know, I couldn't do that if I was battered and sick all the time. So that notion needs to go away. And, you know, I don't actually know anyone that's heavily tattooed that's always sick. So I don't know where the fuck that idea came from, but it's it's junk science and it should go. Um, the, the same people who are asserting those sorts of things are usually the ones you could find stuffing $1.99 cheeseburgers down their throats over and over again or um, taking the edge off drinking a beer at night. You know, so to say the least, the irony is is real. I'm not even condemning those behaviors. It's just they're proven to be worse for you than anything that I've done. You know, <laughs> with all that said, I did, uh, I, I healed the eye or sorry, the teeth fairly well. And, uh, um, my concern about the yellow not being gone has been largely, um, I think justified, uh, here you can see if you look real close, there's that bit of scabbing at the end of this tooth. They're less yellow, but that yellow will come through more over time. So uh, I wouldn't say that it was a completely wasted effort. They are lighter and the darker line, the, the, the bolder line is probably good long term, especially we colored into these things so many times by now that uh, it really was for the best that we did that outline again, um, just to give them some strength. It was kind of washing them out. Whenever you color into things over and over again, some of that weight will shift it's like you're butting right up against it eventually you're gonna you know you're gonna nick that line or whatever some of the color is gonna seep into it uh, there's all kinds of things that happen under the skin where the ink will spread so this whole area has been tattooed like untold amounts of time and uh you know i would say there's an argument that even before i was on youtube here um, I was in the, the territory of uh, high-level world records um, even before I started with this channel. And now you can see, um, even over the last five years, the only part of my tattoo journey that hasn't been documented was I took some time off in 2022 when we were blacking out my legs. And uh, I just had no patience for social media during that time. Um, I was still doing my Instagram, but that's a lot less strenuous than, than YouTube. With all that said, it, like I said, every single one of my sessions for the last, say, five years has been documented on here. And I would say that even in the, I think, 250 or so tattoo vlogs and updates that I put up here, I would say that those on their own are probably in the, the territory of uh, world records as well. Um, some some crazy number of sessions on every area of my body for example when i talk about you can see here how the hand tattoo healed up it's pretty light for sure all these colors will need to be done again that's not really a surprise to me the hand healed great by the way i'll have more to say on that in a minute uh, all of these uh these individual areas that i've had tattooed have all been tattooed countless times even even just in the last five years i went back and looked because people will will sometimes be like you had your hand tattooed 20 plus times 30 plus times really remy really how do you keep track when i went back and typed in hand tattoo search on my youtube channel there was countless there was so many i think there was like 15 or 16 sessions on this hand when i looked through there you can go and find yourself if you if you're curious, but it's all real. Like that's none of that is exaggerated. And sometimes I'm underplaying the numbers. It's it's not embellished. So um, the idea that I'm still pending with Guinness Book of World Records tells me that uh, uh, they probably won't really be happy or satisfied to give me that kind of distinction unless I fully black in my face or something or finish. Um, my palms in some gross way that doesn't really come together. You always see the people who have full palm tattoos, and this is not a knock, but it doesn't. It's not a cohesive look. It's not like um, it doesn't look solid and like perfect. It it seemingly can't. 
And so it always looks sloppy in execution and none of my stuff do I want to look that way. And uh, I have a bit of OCD with it where if it does look that way, I'm like working on it right away. It's like, I need to fix it. I need to get it up to speed with the rest of my work. So the fact that it seems like no amount of effort can get your palms to be, you know, perfect means that I don't really want to get into that arena. But with that said, it does seem like as long as I'm not willing to do those things and black in my face and in the two hours that it would take to do that, um, Guinness will not budge on this matter, even though they're, it's surely uh, like a proven fact by now that there is, if anyone, maybe Lily Lou, but there's probably no one in the world that's been tattooed um, even close to as much as I have been. And it'll be some time before anyone else gets to that place, I think. And they may never because I'm not even close to done. And it's not so much that I care, but it should just be said. Like it should just be acknowledged and moved on. Like... There's almost no argument. Who who in the fuck can you think of that's gone this hard for this long? Realistically. Like, it, it's, it's just, it's one of those, it's a foregone conclusion. And if, and if it, by some chance that it wasn't by now, it will be eventually because there's no end in sight. And my skin's still taking well enough. So there's no real reason to slow it down either. If I got to a place where I was, uh, banged up every session and uh you know having long heels and i was getting sick all the time and my general health was deteriorating well that would put the kibosh on this whole thing but as of now it's like clear skies for days and i'm still having positive results with pretty well everything we do although i did want to mention i've had some people ask me um and this is relevant here um if it helps to put white down before you do uh, color on top of black. And I've even had people assert that I probably did. Well, no, it doesn't help. And if anything, it makes the matter worse. The colors that went in over black, straight up, covered better. And you see more of those colors. But this being three passes of white, you see a lot of white through it. And the colors that are in there are very milky and distorted. Um, that's not a problem. We should be established by now that I'm just going to hit that. That's already the second time because we did the lines, then we did color in there. And right now it doesn't look that colorful. It looks almost the same color as the rest of my skin there. But it, it's been established by now that what Remy wants to do, Remy does. So that means that it takes four passes of color to get there. That's what it takes. Uh, with that said, the white is a hindrance, not an enhancer of the color on black. It it seems to dilute everything you put over it. It's like it mixes with the white um, more than it's mixing with the black, even because the white is already bullied out the black. Like that white, the white in my the moon on my hand now, it's not going anywhere. Like this this idea that this was supposed to be gone by now, <laughs> it's clearly not going anywhere. So. Whatever bonehead is still holding on to hope that Remy's tattoos are just going to vanish, is he's going to starve in the cold on that one. <laughs> you know, the white does seem to dilute everything you put under it. So I would definitely never recommend uh, the mindset of, I'm going to wipe that out so that I can come back in and, you know, do color over it. It's not, not the thing. Even, even getting a black line over it, it's not a whole lot more like clear than anything else around it so i think it's just a waste of time um that's my my official opinion on that i've seen i've seen it in some other places on me too where we've put white over something and it's just like it, it makes whatever you do next milky so and it really makes sense to me too you, like most people would think that it's like like you're painting a wall or something or like you're you're drawing like something on paper but it's not like that our our bodies are it's all chemicals everything's mixing and it's it's le it's so much more the case that tattooing is a skill and a science the art is just what we sprinkle on top so many people think that it's like oh i'm gonna get this nice black and gray line and it's like well if you're just doing that maybe you'll never have to think about these things 
and you can just have your pretty pictures but this is more of a, a skill-based technical science than it is an art i'm convinced and i've come around to that thinking more and more as time has gone on and i've seen how these things work anyway i'll uh i'll get into what we did next uh next session or next video because this one has already been long and uh I'm actually only having one session this week anyway, and I'll get into why in the next video. So I'll talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day.